Doctor Who. The Seeds of Death. Episode 5. T. Matt Moonbase Control, version funny acts, tries to deflect the warrior's aim away from Zoe. It knocks him away as Zoe stands frozen in fear. The temperature is climbing up to 40 degrees C. The warrior suddenly puts its claws into its head and collapses. Zoe runs over to Fersham. Zoe, are you right? Fersham, yes I am. Who are you? What are you doing here? Zoe, oh never mind that. I thought you were on their side, Fersham. Is that what they what they think? Zay, well, you have been helping them, haven't you? Fersham, I had no alternative. They would have they would have killed me. Zay, well look. Where are the other ice warriors, Fersham? I think they've gone to their ship. They'll be coming back. We might we must get out of here. Zay, oh, but how? Fersham, look. I can go back to I can get you back to uh, you back to Earth. T Matt is working again. Zay, oh well. I'll get back to the others and tell them the good news. Solar Energy Storeroom. The warrior's about to leave and the doctor starts groaning. Doctor, oh, Victoria, Jamie, the warrior walks past Jamie, Jamie's hiding place and he smashes down on its, on its weapon with a metal bar. It throws him across the room so Cuddy has a go too. She's easily thrown off and grabs Zoe's wrist, James' wrist. Do you know the thermometer passes 50 degrees C and the warrior collapses? Doctor, oh, well done, Jamie. Can you all right, Doctor? Yes, I think so. Oh, a bit dizzy. It's so hot in here. Jerry, I, lucky for us, Zoe and Phillips, Phelps, turn the heating up just in time, Doctor. What? Well, where are they now? Kelly, they went through the maintenance tunnel to the main control room. Zoe enters through the hatch. Doctor, oh, Zoe. Zoe, oh, Doctor. If they hug. Are you right, Doctor? Yes, I think so. Zoe, good. So, Jamie, where's Phil, Phelps? Zoe, he's dead. An ice warrior killed him. Kelly? How did they, you manage to escape, Zoe? The other man helped me first. Kelly, first him? Zoe, yes. <coughs> Kelly, well, I thought he was working for them. Zoe, you saved my life. Kelly, don't sound much like first him. Zoe, attack the warrior. He got, he's also got team mate working again. Doctor, well, I do. Do I gather we can get back to Earth then? Zoe, yes, I think so. Okay, well, let's not waste any more time, Zoe. No, come on. Team at Earth Control, Rendor. Well, that's all we need. Alfred, what is it? Rendor, Grayson's here. Alfred, Grayson's? Ah. Rendor, so James Grayson. Alfred, United Nations, Pen Apostrophe. Rendor, Minister with Special Responsibility for Team at Alfred, and your boss, in other words. Rendor, oh, don't. An older man enters and hands his briefcase to Rendor. Grayson, oh, Rendor, I read your red report. I can't make head or tail of it. Who is this? Rendor, Professor Alfred. Alfred, sir. Alfred, how do you do? Grayson, Grace, Gregson. Oh, well. Rendor, he's helping me, sir. Gregson, let's break down the team at. What is your position now, Rendor? Still no contact yet with the Moonbase, sir. Gregson, and what are you doing about it? Rendor, we've got people up there. Gregson, how you get, how do you get them, there, get them here, there, about T Matt? Rendell, we sent a rocket, Professor Elfred, 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 Elfred is an expert in rocketry. Grace, Grace, Gregson, oh, I see what happened to the rocket, Greg, Rendor. It's rather difficult to say, sir. We lost radio contact. Is it soon after it took off, take off? Grayson, is that not, is that all you've done, Rendor? Oh no, no, my chief technician, Miss Kelly, has also gone to the moon base. Gregson, no, more rockets. Rendor, no, sir, she went by T-Mat. 
Gregson, but teammate isn't working. Randall, well, teammate started fence again, sir. So Miss Kelly went to the moon base with a repair team. Gregson, so you had a full report from her? Randall, well, no, sir. Soon after takeoff, teammate would cease to function again. Gregson, but this is quite ridiculous. Teammate, out of action. Then all the, and then this sudden outbreak of some sort of crop blight. Render, oh, now you see, sir, we think that's a connection. Gregson, as, as, if, uh, the incredible, as for this incredible story about a monster from outer space. Render, we, well, you see, Mr. Sir James, I think we owe you an explanation. Gregson, what happened about this monster creature? Have you got any more, have you any more news? Everett, no, it seems to have completely disappeared. Reported here, been seen by many, some workmen and Shop building here. Last sighting was by the weather control bureau there. And the warrior walks through the foam of the weather control building and forces his way inside. The duty weatherman tries to run but is killed. He goes to a convenient weather control unit and moves all the levers to dry, leaves its weapon on, fusing the panels controls in use. Fusing all the controls in place. TMAP moon base control, Fersham. But I had to help them or they would have killed me. Kelly, all right, Fersham. There'll be plenty, there'll be a full inquiry when we get back to Earth. Tell them we're no more time to waste here. You must TMAP back to Earth immediately. Doctor, but if we all, if we're all going, who is going to dispatch us? First of all, look, there is a way of doing that. Here, this is a time switch. Delay transportation by 10 seconds. Doctor, oh, I see. How ingenious. First of all, now I dispatch you and follow using, and follow using the time switch. Doctor, right oh, Jamie. Sorry, come along. I think this could be quite fun, you know. Doctor, oh, Jamie, oh, the doctor, Jamie and Zoe get into the cubicle. Kelly, first of Time switches down on the main maintenance report of being an honorable. First, when we repaired it, the doctor and Zoe, Jamie vanish. First, if you get Miss, if you get Miss J- Kelly, look. I use this time switch. I better hurry, or those ice boys could be back any minute. T-Met mode of control, doctor. You know, I've been T-Met travel, travel rather dis- fine. T-Met travel rather disappointing. There's no station at all. Randall, where have you been? Doctor, huh? Rendell, oh, what have you been up to th- all this time, Doctor? Well, Rendell, and where's Miss Kelly? Kelly appears in the team at cubicle. Rendell, Miss Kelly, Miss Kelly, what's happened up there? Gregson, will somebody kindly tell me what's happening down here? Who are these people? Is team at working again? Doctor, pl- please, let me, let us answer one question at a time. Efred, Doctor, do you know there's been an alien here? Jamie and I swear are here. Doctor Jamie, I don't, I'm not surprised. They've taken over the whole of the moon base. Rendell, Rendell, what about the crew? Kelly, all dead except Fersham. Rendell, oh, you left him there? Kelly, he said he'd be following, using the time switch. Doctor, he should be back. Kelly goes to the control panel. Rendell, what's happening? Kelly, I think, I thought so. The time switch is out of order. Kelly, Doctor, what? He said he was going to repair it. Kelly was lying, Rendell, but why? Kelly, well, it's obviously working for, he's obviously working for them. Doctor, then why did he let us escape? Team met for moon base control, first of is waiting. As soon as he is Sendar breathing, he pretends to be unconscious. Cross the control, Douglas. Sendar staggers in and goes over to attempt to control. First of him follows him. Sendar, Salaha. Turns the temperature down to cold, Salah. What has happened here? First from the others, they got in through the grill, grill and heated up, turned up the heating. Salah, Sahara. Where are they now? First from, they went back to Earth by T-Met. Sahara. Sahara, but why did you not let go with them? First from, refused. That's what they, they, they attacked me. First, Sahara, refused. Why? First from, what do you think? Would have happened to me back on Earth. I'd been executed as a traitor. Sahar. 
so you hope to live longer by staying here. You value your life, they said that is good. You'll live if you help us when evasion and fleet arise for You're going to land you're going to land on earth? So how I know our warriors will land on the on the moon when the seed pods have done their work. Earth on earth it will be time to commence the second stage of our plan. T met Earth Control. Doctor, don't you see, gentlemen? The evasion moon base are taking a team at the sea pods, the arrival of the ice warriors. All part of the same plan. Randall, plan what plan? Re- Grayson, Gregson, his instances are, so, are so unrelated. His fungus is everywhere. What, what's that got to do with it? Doctor, well, I'm not sure yet. Have your people been able to make anything of it? Randall, well, it's indestructible. We attack it. We tacked it in every possible way, but without success. Doctor, yes, but you try to understand it. Gregson, are you suggesting we should psychoanalyze it, Doctor? Doctor, I'm only suggesting that instead of trying to destroy it, you should find out its composition and purpose. Everett, well, there's a laboratory equipment in my workshop. You might, we could use that. Doctor, good, then we must find a sample. Rendell, well, no problem about that. The gardens are full of it. All full of the stuff. Dodd are fine. Then there's no time to be lost. Ethered, I'll get some equipment for you. Vendor, uh, Doctor, be, do be careful. These pop things are deadly. Doctor, don't worry. I already had experience. I'll be careful. Team at Earth Rest Area. Zoe and Jamie are slipping drinks while Cuddy writes on a clipboard. Zoe, but why did Fersham stay on the moon? Kelly, pretty obvious he's too afraid to come back here, facing inquiry. Sorry, but he did, wasn't afraid to stay up there. The ice warriors were well, given a choice. I know you, which one I'd rather face. Jamie, I, Kelly, there's no time to worry about Fersham. You must find a way of getting Team Matt working. Zoe, but I thought it was working again now. Kelly, it's working. It's still controlled from the moon. You must find a way of controlling it from Earth. Kelly, Zoe, but is that, is that possible? Didn't you need, don't you need a moon as a relay? Kelly, there might be a way. I must speak to Commander Rendor about it. Kelly leaves. Kelly, Jamie, Zoe, look up, look. Do you think the doctor knows about what he, what he's doing miss, what he's do, doing missing about with that foam stuff? Zoe, no, don't worry, Jamie, he'll be all right. Outside, the doctor gets a sample of fungus and a spatula and puts in a large glass container, oblivious to the bubble growing nearby. It bursts and he leaps up in alarm, covering the mouth in a large handkerchief. He quickly scoops up the foam. Foam of a container and runs. Team at Earth Control, Rendor, you think it would work? Kelly, well... It couldn't be as effective as the moon base, of course, which handles up to two million microwave channels simultaneously. A satellite would take just would just take a few thousand. Gregson, but that would be enough for fo- for photo food supplies. Rendor, but surely we can't use normal communication satellites. They're not programmed for T Mat. Kelly, no, we have to send up a special uh, special entity, specially programmed one. Zoe, that would mean using a rocket, wouldn't it? I thought no one use, use them nowadays, Kelly. Not man rockets. We do send up satellites for communications. Rendell, how soon can you get one up? Kelly, well, I don't know. If it, if 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 it were given top priority, efforts a laboratory. Under a microscope, cells divide rapidly. Doctor, yes, it's organic. It's alive. Definitely a fungus composition. Doctor picks up a moment roll. Doctor, are you, are you sure this is correct? Effred, as far as I can make out, make it out, it is. Doctor, a monocle of five atoms, it's a, it's all oxygen. You know, a complex blanket of this, reduce the oxygen to content in the Earth's atmosphere, quite drastically. Effred, according to my calculation, to one twelfth of normal. Doctor, it would make the atmosphere of the Earth inhabitable to human race, exactly like Exactly like the atmosphere of Mars, a beaker foaming out into the bench. Doctor, look at that. Even without vegetation to feed on it, it's still active. The bubble grows. Doctor, oh. 
Alfred, look out, Doctor. If that thing explodes in here, it fumes will kill us. Come on, Doctor. Doctor, just a minute. There must be some way of... Doctor puts his handkerchief over his mouth and starts pouring liquids on the trouble. Alfred, come on before it's too late. Doctor, so far he added hydrochloric acid, acetic acid. Alfred, come on, Doctor. The Doctor tips the contents of a large bedroom jar glass over the bowl. It starts to shrink. Alfred, you've done it. Well, what was it? What did you throw on it? Team at Earth Control. Computer, extensive research. Research of my security team reveals no trace of alien creature. Message ends, Jamie. So is the warrior still, that warrior still roaming the loose around somewhere? Sorry, but why did you only send one of them? Why did they only send one of them? Sorry, well, perhaps it's, he got to pull back somehow. Todd and Monday, is Commander Rendor there, please? Oh, sorry, it's Rendor there? Sorry, no, he's in conference with Miss Kelly and Sir James Grayson. Gregson. Doctor, oh, I see, Zoe. It's the most wonderful news. We found a way of destroying the fungus. Zoe, what is it? Doctor, ornery water, ornery water. Jamie, huh? Do- ah, but Doctor, surely ornery. Doctor, that's no time to play now. Apparently there's a we- there's a weather control bureau somewhere. Want to get in touch with them. Zoe, well, you can't. Well, can't you reach them on the video phone? Doctor, well, no. No, I've tried, but they're not answering, or it's broken or something. Zoe, do you want me to? What would, what do you want me to do? Doctor, well, get in touch with Ren- Commander Rendor. Ask him to get hold of the weather control bureau. People to make, make, to make it rain. As much rain as possible for the entire country. Zoe, all right, Doctor, I'm telling him. Zoe, Doctor, all right. The rest and I are coming back now. Zoe, yes, Doctor, via my transmission in, Zoe. But Doctor, suppose that, oh, Jimmy, how, hey, how do we get hold of Commander Ryder at Rendor? Zoe, we'll ask a computer. Jimmy, do you know how it works? Zoe, yes, of course. Put down me in touch with Commander Rendor at once, computer. Commander Rendor is engaged at top level team met conference with Chief Technician Kelly and Sir James Rakeson. Zoe, but this is urgent. I must talk to him at once. Computer Commander Rendor is not available. Jimmy, oh, now, what do we do? Zoe, well, we must go to the water bureau, weather bureau ourselves. Jimmy, we don't know where it is. Zoe, well, we have to try and find it. Come on, Jimmy, oh, Zoe. Team at Moon Base Control. Two warriors will in a fancy device with a small monitor set in it. Sonara, Sahara. There, first one, what is it? So how our communications unit is from our ship. Connect it to solar batteries. First one, what's, what's the section for? So how this does not concern you. First one, I don't connect the equipment. I don't know its purpose. So how it transmits a directional beam signal. First one with homing device. You, you, you use it to guide your armada into the moon. So, ha, huh, you will not ask questions. You do as you're told. Weather Control Bureau. Jamie and Zoe pick up their, pick their way around the side of the building, avoiding the foam, which is creeping o- o- ever nearer to the main, open main box. Main boat door. Go inside, uh, Jamie. Why? Haven't we better close the door? Zoe, why? Jamie, in case the warrior is still prowling around out here, there. He puts the door closed and the phone piles against it outside. Jamie turns the knob to lock it. Jamie, that sh- should keep him out. Come on. They go down some steps, Jamie. Well, where is everybody? Zoe, I don't know. Well, let's try and find the main control room. Come on, weather control room. Whoever man's body is still there. Sorry, so that's why nobody answered the vid fo- video phone. Jamie, hey, look at that. Jamie tries to move the fuse wi- control wi- unit wires. Jamie's no, no, it's no good. They're locked in position. Say, well, don't you see? So that's what the doctor said. That's what the doctor said. Water rain. Well, it makes sense now. They didn't want to put it rain on the fungus. Jamie, shush, 
It's a warrior hide, the warrior heavily breathing has pr- preceded it again, and Jamie and Zoe are hidden by the by the time it enters. T Mac Moon Base Control, Sahar is taken to the superior his own his superior in his own monitor. Grand Marshal has sequins on his helmet. Marshal, a monitor. Are the preparations complete, sir? Ah, yes, Grand Marshal. The seapots have been dispatched to the cities of Earth. The moon base is our hands, Marshal. Our monitor, good. Our ship is approaching the gravitation field of the moon. It's all prepared, sir. Ah, everything is ready. I shall guide our ships on the homing beam signal. Marshal and monitor. Fuel supplies are at a marginal level. There must be no misjudgments, Fersham. Quickly switch, quietly switches on the video link. Team at Earth control. A rocket stands at the ground tree. Computer final checkout. Routines underway. Cully, I hope you know what you're doing. Been years since we set up a satellite. When do I use sure, quite sure the communications aspects of function? <sighs> Cully, yes, once the satellite's up, Team Matt will be able to channel 2,000 microwave channels. Efred, the doctor, enter. Efred, what's going on? Someone's helping us. Someone's sending up a rocket. Rendell, look. Look, what the devil's happening? Your video link shows the scene on Earth. Dot, I don't know. It, yeah, it's yes, moon control, doctor. The sound, can you turn it up? First of monitor. Should we test the directional be- beam? Should we test the directional beam? Team at moon base control. So how is not necessary. Version, but it's operating the moon-based power. I can't guarantee the pulsing rate. Be the same. Sahar, so, ah, well, very well, test it. Team at Earth Control, Dr. Commander Rendor. Can this be recorded? Rendor, well, yes. Dr. Well, quickly, man, it's vital. Rendor, the transition mission coming in on the video machine will be report, will be recorded. Kirk, Computer instructions under search to mission will be recorded. So how and monitor. The mission is operating. Version. Version on monitor. Wait a moment. Team at moon base control. Version, I must check the connections. So how, why, version. Power fails, we must, we won't be able to find, we won't be able to guide the fleet into the moon. Onto the moon. So how, there must be no failures, Fersham. I realise the importance of that. If we overshoot the moon, nothing will stop them going straight into orbit around the sun. Sahar, they will not overshoot, Fersham. Of course not, but since their fuel supplies are module level, if anything can go wrong, they'll never be able to bring moon orbit. Sahar, this video device is operating. They have even betrayed us, Fersham. Every word has been heard on Earth. Sahar Kalim, a warrior bays, Earth Control, sees first and die, then Sahar has count video camera destroyed too. Team at Earth Control. Computer countdown bound to commence. Minus three minutes, Doctor. Cancel the launch, Dot Dot Kelly, why? What do you mean? Doctor, we can use the satellites to mislead a Martian invasion fleet. Rendell, what? Doctor, well, don't you see, poor Fersham deliberately let us over here, their homing signal. We can Im- imitate the signal with our homing device, our own in a satellite. Rendor, Re- Re- Commander Rendor, top priority message to satellite launching site. Cancel launch, repeat, cancel launch. Rendor, message understood. Doctor, if we can deflect, if we can deflect the commander, half our battles is won. Yeah, Rendor, but there's still that fungus. There's still that fungus everywhere. Ethered, we solved that one. Plain old re H to water. Rendor, water. All we need to, all we need to make. Water. What we, all, what we all need to do then is to make it rain. Doctor, well, we haven't. Oh. Do that bit again. The command is understood. Doctor, we can't, we can select the armada. Half their battle is won. Rendor. But it's still that fungus stiff everywhere. Ren, Ethered. We have solved that one. Plain all we H2 water. Rendor, water. Well, we need, we all need it to do, do what? 
do then is make it rain. Doctor Well, haven't you already done that? Haven't you been in touch with the weather control bureau? Randall, you've only seen one thing. Doctor mm. Randall Warner, well we all we need to do then is make it rain. Doctor Well, haven't you already done that? Haven't you been in touch with the weather control bureau? Randall, you uh, you just told me. Doctor, but I sent you a message of an hour ago. Did Zoe reach you? Randall, no. Cuddy, an hour ago? We are in conference. Doctor, oh, I see. Well, perhaps Zoe went to the weather control people itself. Every doctor. The weather control bureau was the last place the Paris was sighted. Last place the warriors were sighted. Doctor, what? Randall, if we have a squad of security girls over there right away. Haven't you done, haven't you better wait, doctor? The doctor's left. Randall, let, get me security. Outside the control bureau, handkerchief over his mouth, handkerchief over his mouth, the doctor picks his way carefully to the door. It's no longer thrown up against it, it still gets there. It's up to his shoulder, bubbles grow, and bursts his hammers on the door. Doctor, Zoe, are you in there, Zoe? We have a control room. Doctor, Zoe, Jamie, let me in. A warrior turns back from Zoe and Jamie's hiding place to investigate the noise outside the weather control bureau. Doctor, Zoe, Jamie, Zoe. Doctor moves out of the doorway to see a way tidal wave of foam, a bubble tearing down. Doctor, oh no. Doctor slips and disappears under the foam and gets up, hammer again on the door. Doctor, Zoe, weather control centre. We weather control room. Doctor, let me in, Zoe, Jamie. Outside the weather control bureau, Doctor. Jamie, Zoe, Jamie, it's, it, if you're in there, let me in. Oh no. A huge bubble forms next to, forms next to him. Doctor covers his face in a handkerchief and presses to the corner of the doorway.